I was sitting in the hospital bed with my husband to my right and Dr. Hunsinger across from me. And she told me that I had stage four colorectal cancer and that it had spread to the liver. I noticed a large lump on the left side of my neck. <sighs> the results come back, I had stage three Hodgkin's. I had a, a fairly rare type of uh, cancer called a GIST. The survival odds were not great. You hear stage four and you think, am I gonna make it? I guess, am I gonna make it? My first thought was, am I going to make it to Christmas? I was a football player, big and strong. Life was going great and you got cancer. It just, I couldn't believe it. I remember a lot of tears and, uh, you know, it's at that point, it's, it's where do you go and, and what do you do? We've put together an extremely strong, broad, deep, powerful group of people to take care of the patients, the families, and the community that we serve. When you come as a new patient to this institution, your case has already been discussed by at least a half a dozen and maybe as many as 20 doctors who have come up with the best plan for you as an individual. If you were sitting in Houston today, or if you were at Duke, or if you were at Mayo, they would offer you the same protocol that I offer you here. And uh, sometimes they'll go there and they, my colleagues will say, why are you here? You know, you need to go back down to Knoxville. What people don't understand is that a lot of the physicians that are here at this facility were trained in those places. And so basically it's bringing the excellence at those larger academic centers to the University of Tennessee Medical Center. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you. See you. My doctor at UT Medical Center, Susan Hunsinger, when I asked her, what's the five-year survival rate? She said, let's don't talk about that. That's a statistic, and you are not a statistic. At 17, I didn't really have a value for life. I mean, I was just, just growing up, just getting started. I'm just glad I got Dr. Hannah. I'm so glad I got with Dr. Bale. And the care I got at UT Hospital, it got me through all of this. Waheed Hanna put me on a chemo pill, which shrunk the tumor for two years. And then I had the surgery with John Bell. But when the surgery was performed, um, the cancer cells were dead. After my diagnosis, my husband and I had a mantra. You know, we would reach over and touch each other and say, 40 more years. It is now three and a half years later, and um, I intend to go beyond that 40 years. I consider it a miracle and I also consider it going to the right people. When I look at my boys, I was worried upon my diagnosis about getting to Christmas and now I get to look at them and see a future for them. They didn't expect me to have much of a life expectancy of more than 23, 25 years of age. I'm 40 now. I have two kids and a wife. Going back through everything, it's just a, it's a blessing to, to be here. I mean, and probably five extra years of, of life with two new grandkids and three wonderful children that I would have missed if, you know, if I weren't here. Ricky is alive today because of the plan and what we were able to do for him. And he's, he's as grateful to us for what we did for him as I am for what I was able to do because that's what keeps us coming back. People like Ricky, Dana's and lots of other ones. Cancer touches every patient and every family member. It's a, a colleague or a loved one that we can diagnose them, we can treat them, we can do surgeries, we can do advanced chemotherapies, research trials, things that are available only here at the University of Tennessee, and uh, that's a great opportunity to do our work. I do love my job. It's a very rewarding job, and it's a very powerful experience uh, to be a part of someone's life uh, in that situation. 
We do a great job and we could do even more and better. We're gonna get greater as time goes on. It's good stuff. I'm just so thankful that people like Dr. Hannah, Dr. Bell, UT Hospital, to take care of me and get me to this point. I don't think you can do what I do and not have faith in, in God and, and the things that He's done and the things that He is going to continue to do to take care of us, and there's always hope in that. My name is James Ricky LaFollette. I'm a cancer survivor. My name is Dana Martinovich, and I am a survivor of stage four colorectal cancer. I'm Steve Tatum, and I'm a cancer survivor. Hope, always have hope. We had hope then, we have hope today, and we'll have hope again tomorrow.